What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I wanted to make a video of a somewhat complicated process um, on getting into the Ordon Sanctuary. There's a boss over here that you can kill and you can go inside and I'm going to show you how to get over there whether you've completed the process or not. However, it's important to note that if you haven't completed the process, you will not be able to enter the sanctuary. You can only get over there. So um, first, I'm going to show you, or I'm going to talk about what you need to do. Um, you need to defeat these four bosses um, in a basically championship fight. Uh, I forget what they call it, but it's uh, you have to go in there and kill all four bosses. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and run over there real quick. However, um, it's not just about beating the bosses. You actually have to start the quest. And the only way to enter the championship and fight against these bosses is to have multiple pets leveled up to a certain level. So if we talk to Master V here, what are the requirements to enter the Celestial Tournament? Uh, you must have trained 15 pets to their maximum level to be deemed ready. So you cannot do the rest of this unless you have 15 pets at max level, and then you could enter the tournament and kill these bad guys. So let's go ahead and kill one of these. And I got a Celestial Treasure Box. Very nice. And you basically have to do that for all four of the Celestial Spirits. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and exit the arena. It's, the exit's actually that way, so let's go back. Yes. So once you exit the arena, we're going to go ahead and go up to uh, the broken bridge that everyone's talking about. Uh, the first thing we can do is to get across this is glide across. If you're a mage or something with some sort of slow fall, you can use that. Otherwise, you'll need to go over here um, to Kumo and purchase the golden glider. This will let you try it five times and it's essentially slow fall. Um, and that's about it. You buy it. You go up to where we're going to jump off, and right when you jump, you use that glider instead of slow fall for the same process. So let's go ahead and run up this long pathway. You have to go all the way around here and get to this bridge, and hopefully we'll make it on the first time. If not, it's going to be a bad time, but uh, we'll, we'll run around again and we'll try again for you. So uh, I'll put on a speed up for this and uh, that way you don't have to watch the whole thing All right, so we are at the Firewalker's Path, and I'm going to show you uh, a couple different ways to get across to the Port on Sanctuary. So there's this Gleaming Crane statue, and if we use that, it will actually throw us into the air and let you float down to all of these treasures. And this also allows us to jump across that path. But we're just going to go ahead and use it to grab some treasure because, you know, treasure. No, don't miss. I might miss that one. Shoot. <laughs> Let's get this one. Alright, and you have 30 seconds to do this. So this is actually going to take us some time to get back where we want it to be, but that's okay. I think we have a little bit more than 30 seconds, actually. So now we're getting more of these coins, and these are useful to purchase the glider or essentially anything else you want. So let's just go ahead and go back to our pathway, because we don't need all those. 
Um, but that is one way that you can possibly get to the other side. Um, this enchantment will also allow you to jump across. Just land on the ground and use that to jump across. But it, again, it only lasts for that minute or so. So you will not be able to um, get many chances with this. You're going to have to line it up very, very quickly. So I don't recommend doing it this way. Um, the other option is with these birds. It's actually over there, so let's run that way. The other option, this one's actually kind of interesting. I think this is the method they want you to take. Uh, these high wind albatrosses, if you're able to damage one of them without killing it, it will actually um, pick you up off the ground and fly you around the map. So you can actually drop and um, drop onto the sanctuary. Uh, I think that's the way they want you to get over there, uh, just using an albatross to take you over there. Uh, high wind albatross specifically if you want to target those. But I'm going to show you how to do it without that. So let's go ahead and unmount. Now we need to get across this bridge. So I'm going to climb up to the highest point I possibly can. Be very careful not to fall off. I generally recommend uh, jumping and then slightly moving as opposed to uh, running and jumping, because it's a little bit safer. It's a little bit difficult. Usually we can get up to that very top part. Oof, yes, that's where we want to be. Alright, so this is where we want to be. And normally you'd aim for that, but we actually want to aim this way because that's where um, we can get a little bit more leeway in making our way up. So let's find slow fall, if I can find it. Slow fall. So slows your falling speed for 30 seconds, which means we have plenty of time. We're going to mount up and we're going to jump off. And we're going to float over here. And we made it across. And we're just going to go up this side right here. And usually I can make it up to right here, but this time I only got up here. But yeah, that's how you get across the bridge. We're officially on the other side. But again, we can't go in there unless we've actually um, completed those quests and gone across the four uh, champions and everything and beat the championship. If I walk in here, kicks you right back out. Right to where we need to be. So that's how you get across. I hope this video helped you out and thank you so much for watching. Leave your questions or comments in the comment section below and I'll try to help out if I can. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Peace.